Extremely Cosmic. If you are new to the channel right now because this is a kind of different theme video that might attract a different audience, please go and check out my other videos because they are very funny and you can subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every single week and I am getting back into that routine so you can't come at me. So yes, this is addressing a part of my life that happened quite a while ago. Obviously I'm older now and I just kind of want to seal that whole part of my life up in a nice little package and send it off with this video because I feel like it's my duty to make this video to, uh, you know, kind of tell you about that part of my life that you probably might not know about me unless you've seen like in this room before. So just for all you people out there that might be wondering, I am 16 years old now and I am 17 in two months which is the 22nd of March. I don't know why it shut my eyes. That looked like I didn't know when my birthday was. It felt like a lot longer when it was happening and it felt like a lot longer kind of after it that I'd been collecting dolls. This went on for about three or four years of my life that this happened that I collected dolls and I went mad with it. Started when I was about 10 years old and continued until I was about 13 I guess, 14, I'm not really that sure. I know it started in the last year of primary school and continued in secondary school. So I started collecting Monster High dolls when my friends started collecting them in the last year of primary school and she brought them in and she was obsessed with them because there's one called Dracula Laura and her name was Laura and I think that kind of sparked the whole thing off for her. I think she got like a one-off doll and then thought like oh my god these are cool let's collect more that's how everything starts then it kind of started from there we were very much best friends and then because she had them i had them so that we could like play together with them we used to bring them to school and we used to play with them we both had about like five dolls each in the beginning and we had like the bed sets and things and we used to play with them and we'd go to each other's houses have sleepovers and it used to be like a whole thing then we got older and when we left primary school and stuff and she moved on to other friendship groups and we kind of like split apart a little bit and because of that we obviously didn't see each other that much and she kind of went on to be more grown up. She liked makeup and she was more focused on friends and going out and doing things like that. And I was still more childish. Still am very childish and very childish natured. I kind of like childish things. I am very a fun person. <laughs> Young spirited, I guess you might say. Don't play with toys and dolls and things though anymore. That's something. I just didn't feel at this point in my life, going to high school or secondary school, I didn't feel still old enough to like break away from toys and dolls and things and of course I didn't say anything to anybody about this but I still collected Monster High dolls. I loved them for so little time and then like suddenly we were moving on and like this whole new chapter of our lives and I just wanted to still cling to the kind of childish thing so when I was about I don't know 12, 13 I was still collecting dolls and I was very still much invested in the Monster High franchise. Since I joined secondary school I did not play with the dolls and make scenarios like I used to when I was in primary school. Once it was me by myself collecting dolls and not with my friend. I used to only like photograph them. I used to use my dolls as little subjects I guess and used to take them in the garden, I used to take them out places and I used to take photos and I had an Instagram account where I used to post them photos. I got quite a lot of likes actually and the Monster High like fandom if you will was actually really really good and it was really nice and full of like supportive and positive people from around the world and it was actually a really nice thing and it was like my first ever into like fandoms. In terms of what attracted me to Monster High dolls after I started not being with my friend anymore and I used to do it by myself. I used to like like them because they were very different from all the other dolls like Barbie dolls all look the same and they all kind of are doing the same thing whereas Monster High dolls they're all like individual they have their own personality I like the brand like be yourself be unique kind of thing and I'm quite a unique person I would like to say that and you know it's kind of like it was for me like it was this kind of interesting thing and I loved all outfits and I liked the TV show they had a cartoon the Monster High TV show which was awesome and I used to watch that on Line. I used to love that. So it was kind of like this whole franchise for me that I just was so invested in and I so loved. Before I go show you my collection, I want to address my first ever Monster High doll that I ever got and obviously she'll be over there on the shelves, but I have got her here. I got this doll the week after I got my tonsils removed, which was in the last year of primary school and I got them removed because I kept getting tonsillitis and I was off for two weeks after that. So after that week, like I got this as a present for getting my tonsils taken out as like a reward, as a kind of like, yay, yeah, you did it first hospital thing yes so I got this one because it must have appealed at the time and this is Laguna Blue and she came with her like shower thing it looked like a lab tube but it was meant to be a bed and it was kind of like it kind of looked like a shower and she stood in it and then these water bubbles came up it and stuff and you press the button and it was like multicolored and lit up and you put real water in it and it was really interesting I unfortunately don't have that anymore because there was two little portions of my life where I needed money so bad that I sold a couple of Monster High things so 
I did sell in this portion of time the Laguna Blue bed but without the doll in it and I also sold Gil Weber who was Laguna's boyfriend in the program. He had the tank on his head and he was super rare and you could only get him at like Argos, he was an Argos exclusive or something and I remember when I got him I was so thrilled and I played with him quite a while but then he wasn't like really one of my favourites and at that time it was more about playing than it was like collecting so I got rid of him on eBay for £80 I remember. But this Laguna is the dead tired Laguna, it's the original dead tired Laguna and she is a little bit faded. She has had her hair down, I did took it out of the ponytail at one point. She looked really old to me, probably just because I know she was my first doll but she is pretty old and there is parts of her that are kind of like looking a bit old, like the scratches all over. Her outfit is a little bit faded from sun as well, she's got like a mark on her pants, I guess that just shows age and it's really weird because I'm just gonna like strip her off in front of the window here. She has these really weird um, joints in her hips where this is like fabric inside of here and I don't really think that many of the older dolls have that especially. She has her adorable slippers on as well which all of the dead tired dolls have but they all have like personal like things like this has gills. The doll obviously is very important to me because this started off the whole portion of my life that I'll never get back but also was quite important to me. If anybody's watching this that actually knows me it would be great if you didn't make fun of this. You probably all thought I was this like dark person with a fun personality likes wearing wigs on YouTube but like really I collected Monster High dolls. So these are my shelves and I'd like to apologize for the like wobbly camera syndrome that I'm probably experiencing right now but these are my shelves and I've got in total over 50 dolls but I'm not really sure how many exactly. We'll start up here where I have mainly my dead tired dolls. So I have the original Frankie Stein doll, Cleo Denial, Claudine Wolf, Abby Bombable, and these are like the original ones. I've also got Dracula and the Laguna that I just showed you. All of the dead tired dolls of course have their slippers on that they all have customized and the Claudine came with her double bunk beds, her double beds, her double, yeah you get the point, her bunk beds. That She came with her bunk beds and that's why she's got the cushion and Frankie Stein I did I, I do have her bed her slab Frankenstein slab thing But it's in the loft right now because I put all the beds and accessory things in the loft And I have Operetta in her roller skating outfit That was just an extra doll that I had that didn't have a stand and I've also got this customized crater monster here I don't really know why she's there. She doesn't have a stand either I can't remember what her name is, but she, I know she's half moth half skeleton and she's extremely big So I put her right at the back and here I've got Torrelai in her mermaid outfit. You probably realise I've got a lot of Torrelais because Torrelai is my favourite Monster High character. Then I've got Katy Noir whose dress used to get on my nerves quite a lot. I used to stick to everything and it used to be very annoying but I used to love the dogs. I love cats. Here we've got three Torrelais. Um, so I've got the one that I think that's the cafe one and then I've got the original Torrelai that comes with her little pet and this one's extremely old. You can tell that because she's got a bendable tail. It's not like stuck in a position like the others. It's kind of bendy. You can bend it yourself. And then I've got the sporty Torrelai at the back. Here I've got Holt or Hold Hide or whatever you want to call him. And a funny story about him is that his leg is broken. It's completely snapped and it's also really really sellotaped underneath his trouser. But I still love him anyway because he's one of like the rarest dolls I've got because he's like the only Hold Hide that was created until a point. So he's like the original one and you can tell the originals as well because usually they have coloured stands. They stop doing coloured stands um, at a time when they just couldn't be bothered anymore. Holt comes with his little chameleon and Jackson, his alter ego, Jackson Jekyll, has a chameleon as well in different colour format. And this is Jackson. He is, I think, the only Jackson that was created. Um, don't hold me to that one. This is a uh, Circus Torrelai. I've got Torrelai from uh, the beach? Is she from the beach? I don't know. I like the purple, I mean the blue bit in her hair. I've got the original Venus McFly trap. I absolutely adore Venus. I think she's a punk, right? Um, she's She's um, really, really cool. I love like the fact that she's got like safety pins on a jacket thing and she's also got her little denim jacket that is adorable. Also, Tulian, I loved him. He is the adorablest thing ever. I've got the Cleo and Torrelai fusion at the back and here is a spider. Can't remember your name, but I absolutely adore you. Um, I've got her in this dress, but she did come with other outfits, so I know that much. At the back, I've got Venus in her beachwear and at the front here is Torrelai in a kind of rock outfit. At the back, Invisibilly, who was trying to blend in because he's so emo. And here is 
Mialady and Persephone, the twins. I loved them. I got them for my birthday one year, I remember, and they are so cool. Then Operetta, I loved Operetta so much because I loved her hair and the fact that she's jeans. She has jeans on and not many Monster High dolls are wearing just jeans, like the normal jeans. So that is awesome. Plus I love her spider pet, which is kind of looks like Elvis. I adore him. Then I've got Katy Noir at the back, also dressed in a kind of like performing outfit, which went with this Toralide that came in a two pack. Then I've got the Toralide Scarer Screams Fusion. I didn't get the real Scarer Screams, but I do have this fusion and I love her. I like her no eyes. People find that creepy, but I actually really love it. Then I've got Nathan Rot at the back. I used to love him because he's a unicorn. I've got the original with one, <laughs> Claudine Wolf, which came with her little pet Crescent, uh, which is really cool. And I find it funny that she's a cat and, you know, her run as a dog. Also at the back got Claudine in her school wear. Then I've got Cleo and Deuce, who are the original Cleo and Deuce. These were the first two pack of dolls that I got. And I got these on the first Christmas that I loved Monster High and I still really love them. And I love that I got Cleo's pet snake and Deuce's little rat. And I really, really just love these dolls because I don't know where his glasses have gone though. I've got the school Cleo and I've also got the Sweet 16 Claudine Wolf in the back there. Up here is my last Monster High doll is that I got like the most recent one I guess that I got even though it was a couple of year back I got the Lady Gaga Born This Way Foundation Special Edition doll that I kept in the box because it's special edition I didn't want to ruin that I can't remember her name but she's a centaur and she's pretty cool then I've got the original Frankie Stein who came with What's It her little dog then I've got two Howleens I've got the Howleen that came with her pet and I also got the little Howleen in the back there she came with a boom box in the back there I've got Slow Mo who was a very, very rare one that everybody wanted at one point, so I'm glad I got him. His hair is crazy. And I've got the Sweet 16 girl herself, Draculaura, in her Sweet 16 outfit. And here is the Claude and Draculaura two pack that I got, and this one came with Claude's pet dog with wings and that's his like normal outfit and I'm really really happy I got that. This Draculaura came with an umbrella as well. Then I've got Laguna in her lab outfit and here's Laguna's fish but that one came with the dead tired doll. I've just got it up here for some reason. Then I've got the original wave one Draculaura that came with her little bat. I've got the original Katrine over here and another Katrine over here and this is the original wave one Abby which came with her little mammoth pet. Also I've got the Valentine's Day special CA Cupid from the special Why Do Ghouls Fall In Love episode, I reckon, of the cartoon. I've got the witch at the back. I can't remember her name. I know she's a singer. I've got the original Ghoulia Yelps doll, which I think is very sought after as well. It, that comes with a little owl pair. I've got Gigi Grant the Genie. Most of my time with her was literally just trying to keep that hair perfect. Um, but I kind of really like her. She comes with a scorpion. She's really interesting. I love her big eyes. She's got really big eyes. I've got the original Spectre Vondergeist. The ghostly one um, with a ferret, which is a ghost. Uh, I really like her doll because her hair is really fluffy. Actually, it's very similar to Ghoulia's hair. They have very similar hair, them two. It's very, very fluffy. Then I've got Nefra Denial, who is Cleo's big sister, and she is the original doll of her as well that come with her little scarab beetle pet. Then Rochelle, who is so beautiful and so cute. She has big eyes too. She is so great. And she came with her little pet gargoyle kind of phoenix thing. And Rebecca Steam is at the back, uh, the robot, and she is has a little penguin. I've got Twyla in the front that came with a dust bunny, I believe. I never really liked Twyla, plus my version of her has greasy hair for some strange reason. Um, I've got Honey Swamp in the back. I absolutely adore her hair. Praise for the afro. That is so great. I love that hair. And Jane, I believe her name is, with a little sloth who is adorable. And I can't remember her name at the back. She's a pirate. Um, she has a really cool stand though, and she kind of floats on it, and I like her peg leg. Peg leg is amazing. Skeleta Calaveras, I absolutely adore Skeleta. She's great, and for all she is a little bit thin, <laughs> uh, I adore her. Then I've got the other travel kind of monsters up here. I've got the Bigfoot one, I can't remember her name, but she has a really huge feet. Uh, and I've got the Loch Ness Monster's daughter, the Scottish one, and Ginifier 
who is uh, the Chinese dragon and perfect Chinese New Year. <laughs> I literally have no space to film on my SD card anymore, so I'm gonna have to wrap up there, but I hope that you enjoyed my collection. If you have a collection, feel free to comment and I'll go and check yours out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Post new videos every single week, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!